Good afternoon. We're at the 14th Annual St. Clair River Classic Car Show. I'm Vern Cummings. Uh, we're having a great day. We've got beautiful weather, a lot of really nice cars. If you're not here, you should have been. It's uh, going to be going on until about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We've got uh, probably 250 cars so far, and hopefully more will come. But we couldn't ask for any nicer weather. Yeah, we started the car show uh, 14 years ago. We had uh, about 43 cars, and it's been growing ever since. Uh, we always did them on a Friday, but this year we decided to do it on a Saturday. A lot of people work on Fridays, and it's a little shorter show, but I hope it's just as good as the ones in the past. 14 years ago, Frank uh, Tricoma decided to talk to the city about putting on the car show. And Frank, Harold Cruel, and uh, Phil Dursum were the ones that started it. And uh, Frank asked me the next year if I'd take it over for one year and somebody else would. Well, 14 years later, I'm, I'm still here. We've had good success. Uh, we've never been rained out. We've been lucky that way. Today's been a really nice day because I don't know how many freighters we've had uh, come up and down the river. And a lot of the people that don't live in this area, that's really something for them to see. And we've also had a few people that wanted to know if they could just stay after the show and just set in the park, which we always encourage that. Uh, but all together, I think we've had a a fantastic day and hopefully it'll continue to grow every year. I'm Ron Wankett. This is my truck. We're from Algonac, Michigan. We've been in this park about, well, maybe this is our third year here. So, you know, I had my son do the truck. He done all the paint and body work on this truck. Every bit of it. I did all the, the drivetrain and everything, but he, I give him credit for all the drivetrain. So, it's a 66 Ford pickup. Everything is truck on it. The whole thing. And I brought it up here and stripped it down to nothing and started from there and reworked the whole truck. We completely assembled it and this was about uh, well, 12, 13 years ago. And it's been done since 2011. First show it ever went to was in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee and I won best of show for custom truck. My name's Steve Meyer. Uh, I brought mine and my father's 1966 Ford Mustang that we did a custom rebuild over the past 10 years. Uh, we purchased the car July 4th, 2005. Uh, spent all the summers leading up till now rebuilding the car, kind of made it our own, somewhat custom compared to what you normally see. Uh, we took bits and pieces of every year that we liked and kind of put it into it. Uh, we've been bringing this car to the St. Clair Car Show for three years. We've been coming with other cars for the past five or six years. Um, the car itself actually has quite a history to it. Like I said, we picked it up in 2005. Um, right about well, halfway through our restoration, we had a garage fire. Uh, luckily, the shell itself was not in the fire, but all the, the components for it were. So we ended up purchasing a parts car from then. Um, took all the parts off that, did a restoration on those parts, and then made it into what you see here. Okay, my name's Ron Mathis. I've been coming to the St. Clair Car Show for about seven years now. I brought my 70 Roadrunner 446 pack. I've had the car 17 years. She's a beautiful car, and we have a lot of fun with her. The history of the car, the car was, uh, was a ground-up restoration in Kentucky 20 years ago. I bought it at a Mopar National Car Show. My name is Dwayne Sabella, and this is a 1968 Porsche 911. I'm from New Baltimore, Michigan, and I've had the car for about 15 years, and uh, I just found it from uh, a gentleman that I drove past and it was just sitting there for sale, nothing I intended to buy. Bought it 15 years ago and done all the work myself and brought it up to what you see now. It originally was from California, it had faded paint and everything else, but I brought it up to uh, original standards. And it's a, my first time at this show and it's a beautiful day and a beautiful show and I appreciate you coming. I'm Jane Robb, I live in Marysville, Michigan. My vehicle today I brought is a 1977 GMC Motorhome built in 77 uh, and this is the first time I've been to this show with this vehicle. We have brought um, Corvair Monza convertible before, 
but this is our first time with the motor home. We've had it for 19 years. Uh, we've had it a year and we took off for Alaska, so she has 250,000 miles on it. Have been to um, Nova Scotia, we've been to the Redwoods in California, we have been to Key West, Florida. We live in her four months of a year. About five years ago, we stayed in her 183 days. And we were still friends when we got through with our trip. So we have enjoyed being a part of the GMC community. We belong to a local group called the Great Lakers. We also belong to an international group. We just came home this spring from Patterson, Louisiana, where there were almost 200 of these motor homes. There were 13,000 of them built in the 70s, and they have records of still between six and 8,000 of them still on the road. So it's enjoyable to go and see all these motor homes, where they're from and what they've done with them. We are headed for South Dakota in the fall for another international rally. We enjoy being here on the St. Clair River on a beautiful day in June, July. Hello, my name is Frank Buscemi. I'm from Macomb, Michigan. I've been coming to this show about 10 years now. Probably one of my favorite shows. Uh, I go to a lot of shows, Frank and Muth and uh, Woodward and all that, but this is probably one of my favorite. Uh, the people here are great. Got a lot of beautiful, gorgeous cars here. Uh, I brought a 42 Packard convertible here. I have a 39 Packard too, but this is my flagship. Uh, it's a very rare car because they uh, quit manufacturing cars in February 6th of 1942. So if you wanted to get a new car, you had to wait to 46. So it's a rare car and it's a fun car to drive. Miles Allison, and I've been coming here for five years, and I'm from St. Clair, and this is a 49 Mercury. The car was purchased in, uh, I found it in Grand Rapids back in 95, and we worked on it for two years. And then uh, we changed the engine a few years after that. And this is what you see. And this car is unique. There's, as far as I know, there's only one of its kind and it's, uh, I've had very many compliments on it, and it's a very beautiful car. I am Steve Schneider from Applegate, Michigan. Uh, this is a 1958 Dodge Swept site. Uh, they think they made between eight and 900 of them. Like, apparently Chrysler has no accurate records of that. Uh, but according to the internet, they think there's about 60 of them still exist. Uh, this is the second show I've been to with it this year. I've owned the vehicle uh, probably going on 12 years now. Okay, my name is Don Lindsay. I had this car for over 50, 55 years, and I bought it in 1959. And uh, we live in Richmond, Michigan, or Columbus, Michigan, whatever. And uh, we have a good time here. We great water and shade trees, and it's just beautiful. I love this car show. Yeah, and we, me and my wife go to a lot of car shows all the time. We have a good time. But I've had this car and set, it sat in the garage for like 40 years and I had it redone, you know. But all the custom work was done in 1961. Yep. Yeah. And uh, all I can tell you, it's been a good car. It's got a 409 motor in it now. It used to have a Corvette motor in it at one time. And uh, that's about all I can say. We have a good time with it. Yeah. My name is uh, Keith Ward. I'm uh, from Kenoki Township, actually Kenoki Township Supervisor. Been coming to this show about six or seven years. Brought this 1981 Corvette with me. Um, I've had the car about 15 years. Uh, it's an ongoing project. Uh, three years ago, pulled the engine out, put a uh, 30 over uh, 350 small block roller engine in it, and uh, tried to restore it a little bit here, a little bit there. It's a it's a work. Work in progress, I guess you'd say. And uh, one last, I mean, this is one of my favorite shows. We come here every year. It's great to sit here on the river and watch the freighters go by and be in the mature trees with the shade and all the cars. I believe they had 252 cars here today, if, my, if I understood it correctly. Um, and there's always a lot of major Detroit muscle down here. And uh, 
One last thing, uh, over here at Kenoki Township every year we have what they call Kenoki Fest. It's always in June, usually the second Saturday. There is a Facebook page for Kenoki Fest. Check it out. Great car show, great time in the country. If you can make it next year, June, it's our 11th anniversary next year. My name's Tom Von Meyer. I'm from Marine City, Michigan. This is a 1962 Ford Ranch Wagon. It was in an Arizona junkyard. A guy bought all the cars out of the junkyard from in Colorado, and then a guy in Michigan bought the this one and another car. I ended up buying both of them. He lost interest in it. So then uh, the paints, just how it was, except they had it all lettered up with uh, my business on it, total recall, and the phone number, and a little guy running with a box of parts. Oh, I've been coming to this show probably seven, eight years. It's a great show. Um, I've had this car since probably 2009, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. Great time here. The people that put it on are fantastic. They really do a good show. Luckily, another good day with the weather. Well, this is the end. We had a good show. Everybody's happy, and I can go home. An <laughs> awesome day. Great weather. Show. Sunny, awesome show. Gorgeous. Good people. Beautiful cars.